Uh, thank you very much, Sarah. Um, I'm going to put up the slides. Let's see. So I'm Andres Ortiz. Uh, thank you for coming. I'm going to be talking about, well, as Sarah said, writing Cypher queries programmatically in JavaScript with Cypher Builder. That is a mouthful. Next time I will be finding a shorter title. Um, so I'm a software developer in the GraphQL team at neo 4 We create Cypher queries constantly, and that's why I'll be talking about that. Uh, there's my email, and you can find me in GitHub with the nick Angry Koala. Very easy to remember. So Cypher, I love it. I think we all love it here. Uh, it's a great language. You can do very complex queries with it, and you can do them in a maintainable way. And just it's just plain lovely. However, if you're writing uh, an application or any kind of product with neo 4 as a backend, you are going to, at some point, have to write your Cypher queries, not like manually, but in a programmatic way. Um, according to your user inputs. What I mean is queries that change depending on the user inputs. For example, this very simple example in which we get the title from a user and we want to filter movies from that title. I know, very original example here. Uh, here, you can see how could you do that with JavaScript. Uh, so very simple and clean. You just have a query with a string with your Cypher query. Uh, you then pass the parameters because, well, we're not monsters. We use parameters here. And to send that out to Neo4j uh, to do its thing. Uh, a code like this will give you something similar to this Cypher query, like match movie or title, part one. Really easy there. Uh, so we put that and, yeah, I don't see the problem. Dynamic Cypher, all done. However, then a user comes and they tell you, well, I want to be able to filter other things, not only the title of a movie. That's, that's a bit sad, an application. Could I filter like anything from my movies? It's like, um, okay, yeah, yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Um, we just need to, well, uh, we just need to get all of the file, all of the filters from our users and uh, iterate through all of them, right? Uh, get the property and the value. And then we just generate the parameter and generate this like equal string, you know? So we do the comparison in Cypher. Uh, then we take all of those filters and, and we join them with and. So we have like A and B and C and all of our, you know, all of our, 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 our filter and operations. And then we just put all of this chunk of string into our query, the same we had before. Uh, oh, I almost forgot. We need to keep track of the parameters, right? Because now we may have more than one parameter. We need to generate names and save them in an object, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, it, it's a little bit more code than I expected, but uh, it works. Uh, we have you know, our lovely code doing its thing. You know, now we can filter everything. So everything is good. Everything is good. Until a user decides to not put any filter. Uh, and now, of course, uh, you cannot have in Cypher aware without filters. Um, so this is invalid Cypher. Um, OK, OK, no, no, no problem here. No problem here. Uh, we just need to just add a little conditional string that, like, if the filter is empty, we have an empty string. If not, we have where. And we just put it there in the, in the, in the back in, the, in our Cypher. Uh, it's all good. It's all good. At this point, some developers may be a bit angry at you, but uh, it's it's fine. It's fine. And then someone decides to put this as a property in their filters, and all of your database is gone. Everything is deleted uh, because, of course, we are writing cipher queries here with the strings, putting everything together. Of course, we're going to be suffering code injection. <laughs> Uh, at this point, you just don't know what to do. A lot of code required just to fix this case. And I want, I want to remind you that we are talking about the simplest possible example I could think of. Give me movies filtered by properties. That's the bare minimum. Any real application will have much more complex queries. You'll be dealing with subqueries and, and even dynamic labels. Uh, it's basically impossible to make sure that all of your cases are properly covered. If you are trying to write Cypher by just smashing strings together, there must be a better way. That, that cannot be it. And luckily for us, there is. In fact, there are several ways. Uh, first, we can use an object graph mapper tool. Uh, I think there are going to be talks about this in uh, today, or there may have already been in other time zones. 
um, an object graph mapper lets you not even use Cypher, just bypass it altogether, use a tool in your language of preference and just go ahead with your application business, uh, uh, implementing your business logic with objects. Uh, really cool, you should use it if you can. Uh, of course, you have the GraphQL library where I work, uh, some cross-promotion cross there. Um, with the GraphQL library, you have a GraphQL API. You don't even have to worry about Cypher or anything. It's all done for you by the GraphQL library. Just connect to them using a GraphQL client. Lovely, beautiful. You should use it if you can. However, not everyone can use these tools. These tools are good at solving 80% of your problems. But there is always a point in which you need to do a very specific cipher graph operations. Uh, it may be because of performance or because you want to use features that are not available in these libraries or because your use case is really, really complex and you need to write your own custom cipher. For those cases, you can use a query builder like our cipher builder that we built because we need it in the GraphQL library. Um, the cipher builder is a query builder for cipher for JavaScript and TypeScript. So if you're looking for other languages, uh, there may be other options like the Cypher DSL for Java. Uh, but if you're writing JavaScript, trying to write custom Cypher queries dynamically, um, this is a tool that is available to you. You can just use NPM or JAN or whatever to install the library, add new Fourier Cypher builder, and then just import it in your code. Nothing else required to set this up. And uh, I want to revisit the example that we were talking before, but using the Cypher Builder now. Uh, we begin by creating a node variable. Uh, this is the reference to what the nodes that we are trying, in this case, movies, to filter on and return. Then this code is very similar to what we have before. We have to iterate through the user filters. However, what we're doing to each one of these filters is slightly different. It's the same idea, but slightly different. We define a parameter. Note that we're not storing these parameters in an object. The Cypher Builder will take care of that. And then we perform the equal equals operation. But instead of doing it with a string, we use the API Cypher dot equals the property and the parameter that we just created. That creates all of our filters that then we can put into our Cypher query, not with a string smashing everything together, but uh, with a fluent API that lets us write Cypher in a cleaner manner in our JavaScript. So doing Cypher the match movie where we get all of these filters together and return. Uh, the last step is just query build that will generate the actual string and the parameters object that you need to pass to the driver uh, to perform your query. This will generate this beautiful Cypher query, very similar to what we had uh, without having to deal with custom strings here and there. Uh, and yes, it will deal with these complex examples uh, and uh, that try to break your cipher with invalid input. You should still validate your input, of course, but it's always good to have that layer of extra security against uh, uh, code injection. So yeah, Jimmy here is very pleased about this. Uh, so I don't have time here, it's a 15 minute talk, to talk about how to actually use the Cypher build of this documentation and a getting started guide. I will send links to that. But I would like to show you a few of the benefits that you will get if you use the Cypher Builder instead of just strings. Um, for starters, you have access to a fluent API. This is built with TypeScript. So if you're using TypeScript, you have all of the typings, which is uh, really good for you know compile time errors. Uh, even if you're using JavaScript, you will get uh, autocomplete in your IDE if you have it. Uh, you will get um, execution errors, which is better than crashing when it hits the database, of course. And you get, well, a JavaScript API, not just a string. Uh, I'm pretty sure that most of you, uh, anyone who is used to writing Cypher will roughly understand what's going on here. The API is really similar to Cypher with the intention that you don't have to relearn yet another tool and a lot of things. Um, another great benefit, I think this is one of the best things about using uh, the Cypher Builder. Sadly, in these small examples, it's not as obvious the benefit. This is good for big, big queries. You don't have to deal with variables and parameters by finding an ID and then keeping track of that ID. You can just create references like movie and my title here and then use it in your query, even if you're using subqueries or 
merging queries together, right? Uh, so in this example, we use the parameter my title. We don't have to worry about the name or you know keeping track of that pesky params object. Uh, we just pass my title wherever we need that parameter. It will be handled by the Cypher builder. The same goes with Mobi. We just define a node, uh, and that gets translated by DCU, a name given by the Cypher builder. And uh, you don't have to keep track of, hmm, did I use the variable this zero or this one? Do I need to put underscore? Believe me, that's not going to work in the long run. Um, also important to say, this is very lightweight. It's a library, uh, no dependencies, so no black hole of no modules for you. This works uh, just with the Cypher Builder uh, package. Uh, it works in browser. It should work in any system, in any Node.js or JavaScript environment. Um, yeah, so that's also good. Uh, no need to worry about installing megabytes and megabytes of dependencies. A bit less risk of having a package injection or some bad actor in the dependencies. So that's always uh, a good thing to have. And last but not least, the most important feature maybe is that it is secure by design. Uh, in this example, very similar to what we have seen, uh, but here someone is really, really trying to break our cipher. Uh, in fact, they're doing things that a lot of people don't even know that it's possible, like passing an escape character into a label, uh, which is really fun, uh, using just blindly a cipher parameter, uh, a cipher statement in a parameter, or using a property with a space. Uh, all of those are actually valid in Cypher and their risk of code injection if you are writing your own Cypher dynamically. Um, the Cypher Builder handles those, escape them using the best practices. Uh, this means that it is not impossible to get injection using a tool like a query builder, but it is an extra layer of protection. It really, really helps as long as you're following the best practices, like using uh, parameters wherever you can. Um, so this is maybe the most important reason to use a query builder, even if your query looks simple, like in the example we were talking before. Um, and that's basically all I have for you. Uh, the Cypher Builder is open source. You have the documentation there in uh, that link. The repository, the QR code with the lovely dinosaur will take you to the repository where you have links to the documentation. Um, and there you can check the, well, the code, obviously, uh, the getting started guide, examples. Um, you can ask me questions and discussions and raise issues there in the repository. And of course, now we have an opportunity for some questions in the chat, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoy using the Cypher Builder and it helps you. <laughs>